everyone, it's Talara and welcome back to Dragonflight. We have made it to the Azure Span, the next area here in the Dragon Isles, and we are currently in Camp Antonitis, which was just attacked by the Primalists before Caligos came and saved us. And we are um, going to pick up some quests here now. Before we get started, I want to clear up just a little bit of confusion. When we very first came into the Azure Span, there was a Drakthir little mini quest talking about how some of the Drakthir were mad at the Blue Dragonflight or didn't like the Blue Dragonflight. And I was very confused as to why. And then I went back to the beginning and actually rewatched the beginning because it has been 25 hours, so I, I misremembered some of the beginning details. But at the very beginning when the Drakthir woke up and we exited our vaults, we were attacked by the Blue Dragonflight. And the reason for that is, after we were sealed away by Neltharion, he asked Malagos to post a few blue dragons basically on, on duty to watch over us to make sure that we didn't escape. Uh, presumably, those dra dragons never received any updated instructions and were there for like 10,000 years just watching over us. So when we exited, they attacked and it was basically all a misunderstanding, I think. But that is where the animosity stemmed from. So if anyone was as confused as I was, there's the explanation. In the meantime, it is time for us to talk to Archmage Cadgar and see what he has to say. This land is teeming with ancient magics. I fear we will have to split our attention. The primalist threat to the east must be handled. I must ask you to travel to the Azure Ar Archives in my state. Ugh, I need to start over. <laughs> Sometimes words just don't come out right, and this is one of those times. I must ask you to travel to the Azure Archives in my stead to aid Caligos in reclaiming the Azure Oathstone. You'll need to pick up a few supplies to help you with what, whatever is happening there. Speak with our portal quartermaster. They ought to have something that can aid you along the way. Good luck, Tarala. Caligos will appreciate the aid. I appreciate will handle what remains of the Primalist to the east. I'm counting on you to aid Caligos, adventurer. All right. Oh, bye. It's a fancy way to get from one spot to another. Everyone just disappearing around me. And we've got some more quests around here as well. We've got tons of quests, actually. If you look up in the top right corner there, the mini-map, there's just little exclamation points everywhere. Okay, in terms of quests, first up we have something just nailed to this rock here. Page's script glows with a soft blue light. Previously a cherished plaything of Malagos, the elemental Frigellus suffered from his master's neglect. While this once happy settlement crumbled apace, the churlish and playful creature grew warped and twisted by the evils that plagued this land. Please see that it is safely neutralized. Bring word of your success to Custodian Synagos. Got it. Here we have Caddy Scattershot, who has quite a cool looking gun. Hello, Caddy. How are you? You look like a will and enable adventurer. How about you like to help out the Dragon Scale Expedition? We've got ourselves a lovely camp in the middle of a nice bit of wilderness. There's plenty for you to do if you'd like to take the trip over there. Talk to me, Sis Maddie, when you get there. She'll get you all settled in. Keep your feet on the ground. Looks like I can check off get an adventurer to go to camp nowhere from the list. Better hit the dusty trail to the folks over at Three Falls Lookout. <laughs> or was it Theron's Watch? I guess she is the recruiter. No, it was Three Falls Lookout. <laughs> Good luck, Caddy. We'll definitely make our way down there whenever we get the time. For now, we'll pick up the last quest here in this camp, which looks to be by the Titans. This old thing sure clings to its secrets. Finest goods in the Isles. To return to these spaces is indescribable. Never would I have imagined the energies of the world funneled back into the Titans' creations. As for the Kirin Tor, well, they ask many questions, but my goodness can they put up a fight. I am always at your service. If you're looking for an instructor, I'm sorry to say I- Ah, you're not an apprentice. My apologies. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Custodian Vernagos, one of the caretakers of these ruins. More specifically, the task of restoring this workspace to its former glory has fallen upon my very tired shoulders. Would you be able to lend a hand? All the reagents I need are nearby. Ice elemental cores, ember cones, hornswog leather. Fairly standard, easily gathered stuff. What say you? The Isles hold many wonders. Sounds like I can definitely do that before we leave this camp. Get this done first. I 
I am out of range. Two frogs down. There's some pine cones under this giant tree. They are giant pine cones, which makes sense. The size of the pine cone is probably should be proportionate to the size of the tree. So that's three ember cones collected. He was right when he said this was easily gathered stuff. We don't even have to go far. These giant frogs and pine cones were just waiting for us outside of camp. But you won't hear me complaining about. Save on commuting time. all the horn swag hide scraps so we can stop killing frogs now. There's the ember cones and all that's left is the frozen cores which are down in the lake just over this way. So we get the frozen core from these elementals right here. Oh, speaking of elementals, if you can see right back there the big one. That's for Jealous, who we have a, a contract to slay, so we may as well, well just actually work our way back there and we'll take care of him too. I need to target something first. Oh, I did not mean to use that move, my bad. Yeah. I'd rather not get my scales wet, so I guess we'll just take the long way around. <laughs> Frozen cores complete. When you look at Fragellus in terms of his other elementalist friends, he is so much bigger. You really see that size difference. We'll do some quick living flame heals. Here we go, this is Frigellus. Uh oh. That's a big AoE right there. Did not want to get hit by that. Alright. Doing good, already down to pretty low health. Jealous is down. We may be disoriented, <laughs> but victory is ours. Perfect. Now I'm just actually gonna soar back over this lake so we won't have to fight any more elementals. And go turn both of these quests in, actually. First up, we'll check in with Custodian Vertigos. My wares are of the finest quality. Fresh air and magical relics. What more could one ask for? May we trade again soon. 
Thank you, Tarala. The amber cones will burn hot, the elemental cores will temper the heat, and this leather is fairly disgusting. But the bellows they produce will more than suffice. Now all I need is time. You'll find nothing better in Let's the start eyes. by tossing a couple ember cones in there. Aspects be praised, it worked! It will take me some time to forge the bellows and restore the rest of the workshop, but this is a fine start. Glad to hear it. Happy to help. And now the forge is lit again. Here we have the supply portal, which we need to activate to get our bag of helpful goods. Hello there! Need anything from Dalaran? Just say the word and I'll track it down and get it to you. Kagar said you have something that could help me aid Caligos. Oh, this is the in case Kagar isn't available, bring this package. We've got one more left. <laughs> Here it is. Come back if you need anything else. Awesome. Thank you. So that's a portal straight to Dalaran. There's also a quest we can do here. You hear muffled muttering coming from the other end of the portal. Hey! Hey you! I have some mail for our apprentices in the field. Care packages, gifts, things they've ordered via magical courier. Standard fare, really. Mind doing me a favor and handing them out? Sure. I'll be a mail delivery person. And last but not least, we need to port into Custodian Synagos. needs can be met here. We've been spread thin these past 10,000 years. Ruins crumble, books disintegrate. All of the recent developments in the Isles have made our task more important than ever. These Kirintor mages have been particularly helpful in securing our ancient spaces, even if their apprentices are somewhat excitable. The Isles hold many wonders. Let us hope there aren't any more surprises trapped in that glacier. I am all Excellent work, Drakthir. We should be at least a little safer now, all things considered. I was just discussing our current predicament with the Arch Enchanter here. I have some ideas in that regard. Arch Enchanter Celeste. Hello. Custodian Senegos and I were just discussing the impact that Primalist's attack has had on the plans to assault the Cobalt Zenly, and I had an idea. Celeste withdraws a wand from the folds of her robes. Take my wand and empower their weapons. A little bit of fire should do the trick. Safe travels. Okay. We can do that too. Let's bop around the camp. Enchant everyone's weapons. There we go. Enjoy your new fire powers. You get fire powers. And you get fire powers. And you get fire powers. <laughs> Everyone gets fire powers. There we go. Looks like they're excited and re-energized, heading off to battle the Primalists. Now before we go turn that quest in, let's see if we can deliver the packages to the apprentices around here. Um, oh, we didn't actually get the package from the supply portal yet. <laughs> My bad. It's hard to deliver packages if we don't have any to deliver. We actually need to speak to the supply portal once again first. I'm ready to deliver mail. Okay. We can just start tossing Arcanon mail at any apprentices portal. we see. There you go! I can't believe I won the auction! Mail for you! Oh no! My miniatures! Could have sworn these vials weren't shattered when I packaged them. <laughs> hey, I'm just... Don't, don't blame me. Your mail's getting to you. Hmm, they said the packaging will be a bit more discreet. Ooh, lunch! <laughs> Alright, I think all the apprentices have their packages now. So let's go turn this quest in. My duties are done. Well done, don't worry. It's the courier's fault if a parcel wasn't marked fragile. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. That actually gave us a uh, Drake Watcher manuscript. Gives us the Highland Drake Triple Finned Head customization option. Okay, we'll decide for that. And then we're back into Celeste. Fantastic job! 
After repelling their attack on the camp, it's imperative that we keep the Primalists on the back foot. Now please give me my wand back. See you around. I'm fine. Alright. So, is that all the quests around here? Wait a minute. We have another quest now. There's like a wagon. Oh my god, look who it is! It's Hemming Nessing- Hemet Nessingwary! Who, if any of you guys are longtime WoW players, will recognize as uh, he was a, a hunter of beasts right back from the very beginning of WoW. In vanilla WoW, you could find him and help him hunt some beasts. And uh, I don't know what he's doing here now. It looks like he's retired, because it says that on his nameplate. And uh, he's on a wagon? I don't know. Let's let's see what's going on with him. Oh, the thrill of a hunt. You didn't think retirement would keep me out of the game, did you? My eyes aren't what they used to be, and my hands are certainly less steady. But we can hold these reins. This whole dragon scale expedition is quite the operation, and I have a mind to do my part. As for the Azure Span, well, it reminds me of some of the best places I've ever been. So you're not here to hunt. I bagged enough trophies to last me ten lifetimes. Take Tiny and Junior here. Sure, I could put their heads on a wall as easy as pulling a pint of Dunmoral Stout, but it'd make my job as a wagon driver significantly harder. Nessing where he laughs. I suppose that makes me something of a conservationist. Oh, I wow. Okay, so he just drives a wagon now in his retirement. He doesn't hunt anymore. He's made some animal friends, in fact. That's a Interesting. Fine day for a hunt. I have a grim task for you, Tarala. Not every kill is a measure of skill. Some are measures of kindness. There's an old bull mammoth wandering the forest east of Camp Antonitis. I saw him from a distance a while back, and I hear his sad trumpeting every so often. Clearly, he's in great pain. He started crashing blindly through the undergrowth, and I'm worried he's becoming a danger to others. It'd make my old heart glad if you put a fellow weary soul to rest. Bring me his tusk so we can honor him. Hey, be safe out there. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Nessingwary is really different, because back in the good old days, he would be like, Break me his head so I can mount it on my wall and show everyone I'm the greatest hunter of all. And now he's just like, put him out of his misery so he doesn't hurt anybody else. That's kind of cool to see such character progression from a character that we met at the, at literally the very beginning of World of Warcraft now, sort of at the end of his, his career. And now he drives a, a wagon. I mean, good for him. That seems like a good retirement gig. We'll help him out. Let's go see if we can take down Old Stone Tusk. There he is. Whoa, he's big. Fight old Stone Tusk. We have his tusk. Stone Tusk's tusk, if you will. <laughs> How many times can you say tusk in one go? I'm gonna harvest this plant and then we'll get back to uh in it. Oh, I need to speak with him back at, um, in Camp Nowhere. I figured he would wait for me here on the wagon, but that does not appear to be the case. I think he left. How rude. No, he's right there! Oh, it's because I need to report into Hemet Nessingwary Jr. For some reason. I hope you like to hunt! Okay, um, well that's fine. We'll leave him to do his wagon duties, and next time we're in Camp Nowhere, we can, uh, we can deliver that. In the meantime, I suppose our next logical objective is to do the story mission and go down and meet Caligos. He is at the Azure Archives, and we have some supplies now. So, let's actually follow this path down past Emmett. And check in with him.
I really like this area. It's very peaceful. The big trees and the snow. It's rather quiet. The music is quite relaxed. It's it's very nice. Oh, we've got a quest right here at the fork in the road, actually. Stop. We're too late to save the mammoths. They must honor their remains before they're consumed. Look, a stranger approaches. Perhaps they have the extra muscle we need. Let us hear your story. Our tribe has proudly nurtured the Antuk ma mammoth herd for generations. Now they're gone. Their souls will linger in rage after such a massacre. We must honor their lives by making good use of their remains. There's too many for us to gather alone. Please, gather what materials you can from the youngsters and matriarchs, then meet me in the Carrick Gleamlet. Now I have a story to tell. These worms don't belong here. I don't know what's driven them from their underground lairs, but there's no way to help them now. We can't allow them to destroy the native life here. Slay the worms, Talara. Keep their parts, if you must, and find me in the Gleamlet when you're done. May your steps be sure and your catch secure. I'll need a massive offering to calm the mammoth spirits. I have an idea. In the tale of the Gleamfisher, Kaurik built a boat to bring Gleamfish to Ascara during famine. With Ascara and Imbu in danger again, we could please the mammoth spirits by using their remains to craft such a boat once more. That journey killed Kaurik. No, brother. Rurik sighs heavily. Alright, well, before we go meet Caligos, it looks like there's some people here who need our help. Tuscar, in fact, who are traditional keepers of the Mammoth, and it looks like the Mammoth are under attack. So, we'll call it a day here for this episode, folks, but once we get back, we will help out the Tusker before we head down to the Azure Archives. So, until next time, see you guys back here again real soon.